Hi guys, now it's been forever since I've said that. It's been about six or seven months since my last video, which is insane. And I knew there was going to be a bit of a break, but I never meant for the break to be as long as it was initially. And I wanted to do a little bit of a life update and just let you know what's been going on with me, uh, where I've been, what I've been doing, and sort of uh, what's going to happen next. I don't actually have a plan for this video in terms of uh, any sort of script that I've done previous uh, that I've done ahead of time or any even bullet points of what I want to cover. I just wanted no more excuses not to sit down and film. So here I am sitting down and filming and hopefully I can get this out as soon as possible. So it may be a little bit of a mishmash um, in terms of going back and forth and my thought process being all over the place, but I just wanted to get this out. So first things first, what's been going on, where I've been. So essentially, as you know, if you follow me for a while, since January, I was basically just working for myself. So purely just my own company, working for myself and only doing YouTube and teaching English and NHS translating. So I loved it. It was amazing. And working for myself and the six months, um, sort of the first six months of the year, it was just what I needed because during the day I got to relax so much. I got to just be my own boss, do what I wanted. And like I said, most importantly, rest because I was so burnt out. And yeah, so uh, I kind of mentioned all of that in previous videos, in the previous life update that I did, um, but I just wanted to, to cover that again. Um, but as you know, you may not know, um, but you might uh, sort of guess that uh, summer, when it comes to teaching, <laughs> is not very lucrative. And this year was the first year, because obviously I've been teaching online for like four years now. And I always knew that summer is a time when lots of people stop lessons, but it never really dawned on me just how much of a problem that is <laughs> um, until this year, because I've always had another source of income, like another full-time source of income. Now, the budgets that I do for myself, sort of, I was doing them and I realized, oh no, <laughs> um, I need to do something because I didn't really want the pressure of having YouTube have to be my main source of income. Now, I know I've said I want to do like full-time YouTube and all of that, but having thought about it, having been put in a position where that might potentially be the case, I didn't want that. And I will tell you why. The reason I didn't want that is because I didn't want the pressure of having to push things to you and having to do, I don't know, sponsors that I don't want to do just to get the money. Um, I always wanted to be able to pick and choose who I work with in terms of sponsorships. Um, I didn't want to push affiliates. I didn't want to, I didn't want that sort of becoming something that I have to do. Um, like obviously I have affiliates, right? I'm going to have sponsors. I'm going to have affiliates and I enjoy that. And it's nice to get some income from that, but I want to be able to do that naturally. I don't want that to be uh, from a place of need, <laughs> from a place of I need the money, so please sign up to this platform. I want it to be from a place of actually this is a cool platform, like you should probably sign up, but no worries if you don't. So being faced with that potentially being my reality, I started to be a bit like, no, so what else can I do? And actually, you know, I've mentioned in previous videos that one of the sort of side gigs that I used to do back when I was sort of paying off my debt and saving money for this house build was working as a waitress. So what I did was I applied to be like a part time waitress in a restaurant in a hotel and I got the job. So I spent the summer waitressing and teaching those that were going to stay in teaching. So that was cool. That was nice. And uh, I really enjoyed it. I generally like uh, sort of any sort of gastronomy type work. I always liked sort of restaurant work and stuff like that. Um, that was supposed to be a summer job. And then I was meant to just come back to 
teaching, YouTube and things like that. So because the summer was quite hectic, uh, because there were a lot of shifts when it came to summer um, in terms of waitressing, and obviously waitressing doesn't pay as much as lessons, and I already have like a budget I need to stick to when it comes to my bills, um, my animals and my loan repayment because uh, obviously I cleared all my debt previously. But again, if you followed me for a while consistently, you know that I took out another loan to buy that piece of land next to me uh, because it was really important for me to get that land. So um, I couldn't really afford to have much less income than I was getting through my lessons. But obviously with lessons, um, I charge 80 lotted per hour and with waitressing it was uh, I think net 22 but gross I think 28 so still massive difference so I had to work a lot more hours to have the same income but it was fine because I really enjoyed it uh, long story short um, I ended up uh, staying but not as a waitress uh, the director of the hotel, having seen my CV and how I work and how hard I work and stuff like that, actually asked me to stay on in a different role. So I thought, why not? It's a new adventure and it's still, it's nice having a job that I don't need in a sense that um, I sort of mentioned this when I was talking about working in the restaurant previously, uh, when I was doing it as a side job where I was never stressed in that job because I knew that if it came down to it, I could just leave. And it's a similar thing here. I thought, why not? It's an adventure. I don't need that job. So I'm never going to feel like I have to put up with stuff just because I need the income. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, I've started working in marketing and sales, which is completely different from finance, obviously. Um, but it's a nice change. It's something different. It's a nice, fun challenge. And I get to do like events management, events planning and stuff like that, which yeah, is just a lot of fun. But it means uh, because I didn't want to give up my teaching English, uh, that I'm essentially working seven days a week. I work at the hotel from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Then I come home and I teach from 5 p.m. till 9 p.m. And on weekends, uh, I teach on Saturday mornings, Sunday mornings and Sunday evenings. So I don't really have much time for life <laughs> um, for things like, I don't know, sorting out my house, tidying my house. Uh, for my animals and for seeing family or friends. So that's kind of why YouTube ended up taking a backseat as well, because I had other priorities. Now, the other priority that has sort of come about that I wanted to mention that's also been a massive time black hole is that I've become a foster home for homeless animals. So I mentioned that on my Instagram and Basically, the way that it works is I'm working with a um, animal foundation and when they have uh, animals that are homeless and are looking for permanent homes, rather than having them in cages, they hope for like temporary homes where those animals can have a bit more space to run around, can have a warm human being to interact with, to cuddle with and stuff like that. So essentially, that's what I've been doing. Um, I've had quite a few animals now, uh, mostly kittens, and kittens are all I really want to do. But there was a situation recently where I actually had uh, puppies as well at the same time as kittens. So it was like the craziest, most intense week of my life because it was never the plan to have puppies and then it happened. Um, so actually during that week, I had 14 animals in my house, 14, it's insane and I thought I was gonna go insane. And we had all sorts of like diarrhea and, and oh, it was awful. And um, I kept one of the puppies. So now I have three of my own dogs and I have uh, six cats of my own now because I've also kept uh, two of the fosters and one of my perms died. So all in all, there's six permanent residents and uh, currently one 
foster cats because there was two but two days ago one of them went to his permanent home and uh, there's another one that's meant to come to me but uh, he's currently going through like anti-parasite treatment because he has a parasite so uh, that's basically what I'm doing um, if you want to support me in that uh, I will put a link down below uh, it's not cheap um, helping all these animals um, obviously the way that foster care works is that the foundation also helps so they do sort of give me money for um, the food and the vet so uh, basically whenever I've been taking them to the vets uh, the vet just uh, puts the bill to the foundation um, but obviously there's times when because of those animals my animals get sick and then I have to pay for it and I'm trying to not give the foundation too many bills so in terms of like food and cat litter and stuff like that so I also put up a lot of my own money yeah they do a lot of important work and they don't really get any government funding so uh, it would be great to support them through having some support from other people but that's just if you want to do that so I will leave a link down below um, what else did I want to mention when it comes to my finances uh, I am maybe not back to square one, but it feels a little bit like I'm back to square one uh, because obviously I now have debt again and I have uh, practically zero savings because I've drained all my savings recently um, on things like my car. I've had a couple thousand go on that. Uh, obviously these animals and the animal help and the vets and stuff uh, drained it for that. Um, and then some home things as well. So, oh, and, and my investments as well. Um, I've pretty much drained all of my accounts. Uh, I've mentioned that before, but I just want to reiterate. Um, I've sold everything apart from my eToro portfolio at the moment because I was buying that land and obviously I didn't want to take out loans at like 20% uh, when I had money sitting in investments. Um, so I didn't sell my eToro portfolio. Um, I mean, I sold a lot of it, but I kept uh, some of it because I still have people copying me on eToro. Um, so I, ne I didn't want to put those people in a position where I sold everything. Uh, but going back to what I said, I'm not seeing the fact that I'm back in debt and have drained my emergency fund as a failure because it's important to remember that emergency funds are there to be used. If I didn't have that emergency fund and I had all these expenses like my car, the vet bills and stuff like that, uh, I would be screwed. So I'm glad I had that cushion. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous that I no longer have that cushion, but I just need to rebuild it again, um, which is what I'm going to do from the new year, because um, obviously now it's Christmas and stuff like that. So um, that's the plan. I think that's everything I wanted to cover, I hope. Um, I've been talking for ages anyway, so this will be a pretty long update video. Um, I also spent a lot of the summer, actually, I didn't mention this, um, working in my garden because obviously summer is the main time you can work in your garden and I wanted to get a bit more ahead of my sort of self-sufficiency journey. Um, I actually filmed a self-sufficiency update video during the summer and then I never got around to editing it. So I might see how that's looking and maybe edit it and post it um, after this video. But if it's, I think, I don't know if I still have the footage, like the B-roll footage that I took to go alongside that. Um, so we'll see if I still have it, then I'll edit it and post it. Um, and if not, then I'll just make a new one. But uh, basically I'm here to say I will continue to make videos. I haven't disappeared but I want them to be videos that I want to make and I don't want the pressure of posting twice a week, etc., etc. So um, I'm going to be posting videos um, that I feel inspired to post. Uh, I am not going to be posting videos such as uh, income updates anymore uh, for two reasons, really. Um, the first reason is that uh, actually I don't really want people around me here knowing my income. Um, it's a very different situation in Poland when it comes to talking about income and I 
didn't care when I first moved here and I was just as open as I have always been with everyone in England but I think in England it's just a bit of a different attitude to it and people around know that I have a YouTube channel and they might be watching my videos and I just I don't want to be that open uh, with some of those people and the people that I'm happy to be open with I can just have that conversation offline um, and the second reason is because honestly when it came to thinking about making a new video and I was considering like, oh, it's time to do an income update video. I was dreading it. I hated it. I was so bored of those videos, um, of making those videos and talking about the same stuff over and over um, that I don't want my channel to be a place where I feel dread before making a video. So uh, essentially that's me telling you that my content is going to slightly change in terms of like my normal videos are going to continue uh, to be similar but those sort of monthly regular videos like income updates are no longer going to be there um, if you have questions about income or anything like that i am happy to have a chat uh, on like instagram or something but um Maybe I'll think about something like memberships or something later down the line, not right now, um, where I can be more open about that without worrying about people here seeing it. But I'm not gonna do that now because I know I won't be able to commit to that as much as I would want to, because if I do memberships, I want them to be worth your while. So uh, maybe down the line, but not right now. Okay, now I think I've said everything I wanted to say. Um, so yeah, if you're still with me, if you haven't unsubscribed, if you're still watching my videos, thank you so much for staying around. And hopefully we can uh, build our relationship back up again and I will be back here more regularly. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.